Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my backyard. It's your boy, Coach Myers, a.k.a. Chef Myers, a.k.a. Chef Boy RD. I'm bringing you another edition, Max Effort Muscle Meals. Now, today I'm going to teach you something super quick and easy, but delicious. You know, to eat good, it doesn't necessarily have to be hard. Some of my recipes are kind of complicated, and maybe you've watched them and thought, you know what, that's going to take too long, or, you know, I don't have enough experience cooking. Well, the one today I'm going to show you, anyone can learn just by watching this video. Super simple. We're going to make just a good Chinese chicken and broccoli stir fry. And the way I've simplified it for you is we're going to use frozen broccoli. We're going to use a little bit of onion. We're going to take the chicken and to make the stir fry process really simple, we're going to slice it super thin. We're going to cook it on the hibachi or you could use a pan on your oven. I mean, I uh, skillet on top of the oven, on top of the stove. We're going to fry it in some coconut oil. We're going to add some soy sauce, some basil, a little bit of sriracha when we're done. This is so quick, so easy. There's no way you can mess it up. Let's go. Now for this recipe, we're gonna use two chicken breasts. I'm gonna use one clove of garlic for each chicken breast. Cut the end off, give it a little smash. That'll help you get the shell off. I'm gonna slice that up nice and thin, because remember, we're gonna just stir fry this pretty quick. It's not gonna be on there very long. We're gonna use about half an onion. Slice it against the grain like that. Keep it together, turned. Now what I did when I started prepping the ingredients, I got the broccoli out of the freezer and just let it sit out for about a half hour at room temperature. So that way, it's basically defrosted now. All it's gonna have to do is I'm just gonna throw that on at the very end and you know, kind of stir it around a little bit. It'll be good to go. And now the real key to the stir fry getting done quick is thinly slicing the chicken. You need a nice sharp knife. I got a sushi knife right here that I use whenever I want to cut meat and cut it nice and thin. If you don't have a sushi knife, you can use a serrated knife, a steak knife, anything like that. But I'm going to kind of turn the chicken breast sideways. You can see how thin I'm slicing that right there. And that's going to be able to cook in about you know, a minute, two minutes, nice and quick. Kind of remind you of how when you see, uh, if you ever went to Mongolian barbecue or any place like that that cooks uh, some hibachi right in front of you, a lot of times they'll have the chicken or the meats, you know, sliced nice and thin like that. It's because they gotta they gotta cook it fast. Voila. All right, got our coconut oil. Coconut oil is really good for stir fry. It's good for cooking on high heat. Coat that area right there. Now, first thing we gotta do is get our onions and garlic on there and let it kind of cook down for a second. do is I'll close it, let it cook for a minute so it kind of cooks through the onion, mix it around a little bit, cook it for another minute, then it should be time to add the chicken. Now we've let the onion cook down a little bit. I'm going to move it kind of over to the side, add a little bit more coconut oil.
I'm gonna add a little soy sauce to the onions. A little bit of basil on the chicken. Now that we got it spread out, a little bit of soy sauce on the chicken, a little bit more basil. Now once that you notice that the chicken's almost done, we're gonna add our broccoli. Remember it's frozen broccoli so it's already pretty much cooked. A little bit more soy sauce. Now we're gonna start gonna mix them, all the ingredients together. We got our onions, our garlic, our chicken, and our broccoli. And it's gonna need to cook for just a couple more minutes. Now, you don't want to overcook your chicken breast, but you want to make sure and check it it's done. I always take off what looks like the thickest piece, tear it open, boom, it's cooked all the way through, you're probably good to go. Time to get that chicken off there. Now there we go, super simple, chicken and broccoli stir fry. Cook time was le well less than 10 minutes. And you know, what I would do now it's douse in sriracha, mix it up, ninja squirrel. If you don't know what's up with the ninja squirrel, this is the best sriracha. Um, but since I got to share this with my wife, I'm going to put this on after. I kind of split hers out. Uh, so this is also a really good meal to make for two, really cheap for like, you know, eight or nine bucks. You got a deluxe stir fry. Boom. That's good.